What's up guys? Gabriel from Seven Figure Entrepreneur here and this is Rebecca. This is actually my girlfriend for you who don't know. Um, and I thought we'd just come on here and record a short video because we were talking about chargebacks today and we've got a lot of questions from you guys also about how to win those chargebacks. Um, in the beginning, we would win like maybe 20%, give or take, like we'd lose 80%, so it was pretty bad. But lately we've been uh, able to get that to 50-50, which is great because, man, I hate chargebacks. They personally like piss me off. But anyway, I thought I would bring her back on here and she can kind of give us a rundown of what she does to win them. Um, cause I have no idea and it's all her. So I figure I'm just gonna let you talk cause you know what you're talking about. Cool. Um, so chargebacks, I would say totally treat it, um, like a sneaky little investigation. You basically want to gather That's as funny. much evidence as you can to yeah. like build up your case essentially. Um, and so obviously there's like a bunch of different co like reason codes why someone might have submitted a chargeback. Do you know what they are on the top of your head? I know one's like fraudulent, one's like product not received. One's like product not like as... Oh, as described. Described, yeah, I think, yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, so first things first, um, no matter what the chargeback um, reason code is, I always want to say like this customer ordered on this date. Um, we sent them their uh, order confirmation on such and such date, which is always the same day because it goes out right away. Um, and then we sent them their tracking on this date and then sh share the tracking web link. So you share like a timeline of like when the product was ordered, when we uh, confirmed the order, and then when we confirmed the shipping date? Correct. Okay. Um, and then I also always want to, um, I mean, so long as it like works with your case. I generally, I would say like 95% of the time, take a snapshot of that tracking information as well, okay. just because you don't know if the bank's lazy, if they're actually gonna follow the web link. So sending a picture is also great. Mm -hmm. um, so lots of screenshots. Lots of screenshots. Of every every element needed. Of every okay, element. Okay, cool. Um, and then again, so if an order actually is fraudulent, it might be tricky to to leverage and to win win that. Um, however, just because their raising code is fraudulent doesn't mean that the order is actually fraudulent. Um, in Shopify, all orders also get a fraud rating. I think there's like low, medium, and high risk. Yeah. yeah. Um, so if it is a their reason code is fraudulent, um, but the order itself is showing low or even low medium risk, risk yeah. I'll generally screenshot and or copy paste that information saying like, hey, okay. also like you know, our, our platform shows this order as a low risk and this is why. Um, Do we win any of the like medium high risk ones or is it only the low risk ones that are really the winners? Uh, medium, I think the odd time we have. Okay. If it's high fraud and the reason code for their um, chargeback is fraud, I would say like mo we most usually of the time we don't We win usually those, refund those though. We don't really let them go through. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. we usay pre like <clears throat> mm -hmm. shipment of anything, we usually reach out and okay. refund if they look cool. super fishy. Okay, so you got a lot of screenshots of basically every element. Um, the fra the fraud level or like the the order level if it's safe, medium or high fraudulent fraudulent. I don't even know how to say that. Fraudulentity, fraudulentity, <laughs> fraudulent. I don't know. I feel like there's a, a fraudulent proper, rating. Yeah, fraudulent oh. rating. Um, and then what else? And then any evidence you have about your uh, communication with the customer. So if they're saying that the reason code is fraud, however, you have an email thread going back with them that says like, hey, um, I actually really wanted this next week. Do you guys have expedited shipping? And then our customer service goes back to them and you can clearly see that we've said um, your order is already shipped and no, we don't offer expedited shipping. As such, your order is going to arrive between such and such okay. time as indicated on our website. Um, then you want to like screenshot, copy paste. You also want to share your shipping timeline screenshot or like a link to the FAQ page or wherever mm -hmm. it is that you like share that info. Because um, that just like shows that the customer... Number one, it's like unlikely that it's fraudulent if they have a low fraud rating and they've like emailed us and there's like some other issue. Mm -hmm. um, it kind of shows that like we've done, we've been in clear communication and they, they like and ordered just knowing and now they're just trying to be sneaky. Um, you definitely always want to, even though you like you might be 
it's like, it's definitely annoying <laughs> to handle chargebacks. And like, especially when it seems like all the evidence is like on your side, mm-hmm. um, you do always want to approach a chargeback from like the point of view as though you are like, have done your best to help the customer. The bank obviously wants to see that you're like a reputable company and that you're, mm-hmm. um, yeah, that you're like helpful to your customers and you want them to have a great customer experience. Mm-hmm. Obviously sometimes there's like butt heads mm-hmm. and that's yeah. annoying. But so when you're like wording your chargeback as well, I would say like, if there's anything like, you know, we've reached out, we've offered a refund or whatever mm-hmm. it is, um, you want to make that like f- figure out a spin to make it. Um, I mean, you probably already have, but like definitely l- phrase it in a way that makes it seem like you are trying to help the customer. So um, not like I would do it. Not like this customer is an idiot. Yeah. We deserve to win. Yeah. So the opposite of that. So, the, so yeah. And like, you also, um, and so <clears throat> you were saying you also screenshot like our shipping times on the site just to confirm. Do we cover that already? I forget. Uh, I don't think so. Yeah. So like if say like product not received and like the tracking shows like that it hasn't been delivered yet, but it's mm-hmm. still like within the shipping timeline, I'll straight up say that like our, sh- you know, order is um, on route as indicated in um, tracking, see link below, see screenshot. Um, you can see that it's not yet delivered, but estimated delivery date is mm-hmm. such and such date, which is within the timeline stated on okay. wherever. Um, or, I mean, over Christmas, we did have a few. We had a, a few issues, obviously, with like weather and delays. Um, yeah. and we actually There's reached- always delays in Christmas, right? To- totally. Um, and for a lot of those, we actually sort of like forewarned our customers if we like foresaw that or got notice. So like you can, we had um, evidence showing that we'd reach out to the customer to notify them of like an unforeseen delay in their package of like approximately five mm-hmm. seven business days or whatever it was. Um, so then we can also like share that and say like, yes, um, order is slightly outside of shipping timeline due to weather delays in such and such. We also like reached out to a customer to notify. Gotcha. Uh, so do you know if we win those ones or are they? Um, we have won some of those. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cool. Around Christmas. I didn't know that. I think like uh, some of them, like they delivered like maybe one or two business days gotcha. outside of our, like our, whatever it's stated okay. on the website. But like we had the evidence that said like we had reached out and it's mm-hmm. not like there was anything we could do other than like being in communication with the customer. Cool. Anything else like off the top of your head you can think of? Just like evidence, evidence, evidence. So just like stack up everything you can that shows your correspondence with the customer if you have it or your tracking times, um, all your shipping times, the fraudulent uh, rating. Web links for tracking. Web links for tracking, showing that their product's in motion. Um, also if they've ever ordered before, like if it's showing it's a fraudulent order, but you can see like, there's like five different orders from them. Um, then that's also great too. Oh yeah. Cause like, it, yeah, Hey, okay. like this customer's ordered from us before everything seems fine. Awesome. Um, cool. Yeah. I think that sums it up unless you have anything else you can think of. Be nice. Be Side nice. with the customer, customer correspondence, yeah. tracking, fraud, all that good stuff. Everything. Cool. Awesome. Well, if you guys have any questions, uh, comment below and we will try to get them. And by we, I mean, I'll just ask Rebecca what she thinks about this question from the other room. I'll just yell at her and be like, hey, how do I answer this? All right. Well, thank you. Hope you enjoyed this. Uh, let, you know, let us know if you have any questions and we'll see you soon.